Yo. So, I didn't get a box in, but I stopped at the place, you know, that big red and white place. Ouch. After I got done at the gym, and things caught my attention. I know we did these, these at least one of these bags last year. I was curious if they got any better th this year. And what am I talking about, may you ask? Oh, well... The pop culture blind bag and the gamer blind bag. Now, if you guys were with me last year, you remember I did these because I was like, oh, hey, 10 bucks. Let's, and it's supposed to have $25 worth of stuff in there. Let's see what's in there. Now, for those of you that are also new, if you hear the sarcasm in my voice, it's because you see this company here, NECA. So they um, bought out Loot Crate. So usually these bags have Loot Crate stuff in them. And this year they did actually have a, I did see on the shelf, a giant bag. But honestly, it was, they had, they have four different bags this year. They've got the pop culture one, the superhero one, the gamer one, and horror. And I almost picked up the superhero one, but felt like a giant Hulk plushie again. And by giant, I don't mean giant. I mean this size bag and... It was very clearly a majority of a plushie. And I was like, you know, last time I got it, I got a plush, a Hulk plush, which I don't mind. But let's not do that again. Um, anyway, and that one was like 30 bucks. And I'm not a big horror fan either. So I'm just like, eh. Let's just try this one. I'm rather curious if what's in there for 2022. Um, and we'll do both bags in this video. So, what we got, what we got. Got something big and hard. That came out very wrong. I am so, so very sorry. Um, Hunger Games District 12 Slap Bracelet. Okay. I mean, I can kind of get behind that. A little Mockingjay thing. And this is the pop culture bag, by the way. Just in case. Okay. Um, I probably won't use it, but, you know, who knows. Uh, any, oh, there's a box thing. There's a boxy thing, and it is Jean Michael Bisquat. Oh, a kitten. Kid robot. I love kid robot. Oh, these are cool looking. I, I would easily, I don't even know which one this is, but I will put it easily at my desk. I will make room for it. <clears throat> Faces is a new collectible series that highlights. All right, well, let's let's see which one we got. So far, this bag is looking up. And, and we have, we have a black one, which was oh, like solid black with a little kind of poorly drawn robot, <laughs> on it, which fits because I work in IT. So according to the box, we have a two in 20, the odds of getting that one. So one, three, you know, the three and 21 isn't a half bad design. Um, one in 60. So apparently the portrait is the rare or one of the rares. The one in another one in 60. Is that a blank or is that supposed to be chrome? Oh, it's supposed to be chrome. It's like we have a chrome one in 60. That's just whatever. But Okay. So we got that one. I'm I'm not mad at it. I'm actually kind of, it's actually kind of cool. I'll make room for it at my desk. Um, what in my little pizza? That's that's just a creepy creepy little dude. But it's Kid Robot again. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna give that away as well. 
Okay. Oh, that was it? Three items. I'm so, yeah, one, two, three. Three items. Um, and two of them are probably not sticking around. But I am keeping the... I am keeping the rabbit. Why? Because he's... He's just cool looking. I don't care. I like him. Yes, I've decided. I've already decided it's gender because I can and I will. So, just trying to decide if that's like a poorly drawn robot or. It kind of looks like it, but I'm not entirely sure. Anyway. Okay, so, um, was there twenty five dollars worth of stuff in that one? Uh, I'm guessing the the two kid robots. Are probably ten bucks each, and and the slap bracelet was probably five bucks. So yeah, probably hit right at that twenty-five dollar limit. So, so now we got the gamer one. Let's see, let's see what we got for gamer. A pouch of some sort. Twilight Zone valet tray. There's a Twilight Zone video game. See, there you go. Loot crate. Fold sides up with corners. Oh. Oh, okay. I see it. So you fold these up and these all snap together and it creates a little tray. I'm trying to look at it without taking it out of the packaging because... Well, it looks nice, but... Oh, okay. We'll open it. I mean, it is nice pleather. Ask me a question, yes or no question. Does he, she love me? Will I become rich? Is my future bright? I mean, it's kind of cool, except for the whole little devil thing. Which is fine. I get it. It's the Twilight Zone. It's supposed to. So, yeah. What you're supposed to do is you fold it up like that. And then you have a little, little tray. But Twilight Zone, not exactly my thing. Actually, you know what I'm surprised about? Because this is supposed to be the gamer bag. I would have expected Twilight Zone stuff in the horror bag. In all honesty. Because, you know, that's the whole thing of Twilight Zone. Well, okay, maybe Twilight Zone. Not not necessarily horror, at least the older episodes. It was just thriller type stuff, but now, now it's kind of sort of turned into horror. I mean, you got Jordan Peele behind the realm. Behind the, the camera. So, yeah, it has kind of gotten more. Um, And this one's supposed to be 25 bucks, too. One, two... It feels like there's only three things on here, so I'm guessing they're probably marking that at 10 or 15 bucks. Oh, there's four things in here. Okay, well, let's see what the other ones are. Wee Bear Bears. <gasps> wee Bear Bears! I love Wee Bear Bears. There's so... Oh, okay. This makes me happy. I'm going to go with seven bucks for that. Um... Loot Gaming. Yeah, see? The, more of that. Collectible pin. Looks like a uh, duck hunt. Honestly. And I do like that, too. I I am digging that. Okay. And the last item. Oh, it's another pin. Oh, Fallout Boy. Interesting. So, if we go with... Um... Go with eight bucks. Well, let's see. Eight bucks for this one. Five, so we got thirteen. Uh, 
go with seven for this. So 20 plus another, I don't know, 10. So we got 30 bucks out of this one. But, I mean, yeah, it's a lot of pins. But I'm kind of digging it. I do like the pins. You can't go wrong with pins. Well, okay, you can. You can very rarely go wrong with pins. Now, with that being said and done, are they worth the 10 bucks or even that big giant one? Would it be worth the 30 bucks to do it? Probably not. Um, are they kind of fun little tchotchke type things? Yeah, of course. Am I annoyed that I spent that money? Um, yes, but not for the reason y'all think. Mainly because I'm trying to save money and then things like that show up and go, oh, what is this now? <gasps> so, I mean, to the point that I've canceled a lot of my subscription boxes over the months. So, I bruise myself. I bruised myself. Sorry. Squirrel. Anyway, that was all I had. Um, <sighs> box updates. Uh, I know it's in the group box, in the I am group box for the Funko uh, Marvel Collector Core, which that's the May box. I know it's in there. I'm not saying it though. Um, the July, so we haven't gotten it yet. Haven't gotten a shipping notice, anything like that. But I see people on Reddit talking about it, so somebody must have gotten it shipped somewhere. Uh, Thor Love and Thunder July Box. Still a total mystery. No idea what's in that one. Um, what else? What else was that? The Marvel Gear and Goods. Supposedly the January and the May boxes are supposed to be shipping out this month, next month. Well, let's be honest, there's only a few more days of July left, so. Uh, sometime in the next four weeks. Haven't seen hide nor hair of, of that at all. Uh, one last Doki Doki box, the, the pool party one, and I know what's in there, but again, haven't said anything. And, I'm, and then we're just going to be done with Doki Doki for a while, because I do love it, but how much cutesy stuff do I need? Uh, and then the, uh, the unplugged book box, uh, limited edition beach reads box. I've gotten, I've seen some spoilers for that one too. I'm pretty, I'm actually pretty stoked. I'm pretty excited about that one. Uh, that's not going to mail out until like August 6th through the 8th. So yeah. And there was that one. Uh, and then the other one, the Once Upon a Book Club, the July box, um, that one, that one should be mailing out here in the next couple of days, honestly. So we'll see what, what all shows up. And then, then we get to play the waiting game for more things. Um, yeah, I don't know. So the Once Upon a Book Club one though will be the last one just for a little bit. Uh, my my car had a four figure and then a decimal point uh, repair. So so that that took some money. Um, and then but I really enjoy Once Upon a Book Club. Uh, even though I haven't gotten a chance to read any of my, my books for it yet. How do I know? Because I'm staring directly at the four boxes I've gotten from them so far. And that remain full of mystery. Um, anyway. And then... Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I didn't even pay attention. I tried very hard not to pay attention to San Diego Comic Con stuff this year because of money things. So... Yeah. Anyway, I'm rambling. It's 15 minutes, so I'll I will see you guys here in in the next few days or the next couple of weeks. So